Hi, I'm Kevin Atienza from the Philippines. I'm one of the coaches of uh, the Philippine team for the IOI. So in, back in the Philippines, we have this organization. We host the qualifier for the country for IOI. So we create the contest. We also train the students. The camp, it was fun. So I got, I got to meet new people and they were pretty good. The skills of the participants vary a lot, but it was generally fun to try to share what I know with the participants. Algorithmic programming and competitive programming is pretty much just like any sport, although I would, uh, you would call it a mind sport. So, but everything else uh, that applies to sports applies to this. You might not use directly what you learn from competitive programming, but it helps train your mind, train your problem-solving skills, and those skills are what's important when you're uh, doing real-life uh, jobs like web development or even more advanced applications. And in itself, the activity of uh, joining contests is a fun activity. I do it not because I was, I'm trying to apply for jobs, but because I find it really fun, really satisfying to solve new problems and encounter new ideas. And I think a lot of participants are doing it because of that. And there's a whole community around competitive programming as a hobby and as a sport. This is quite a hard question because we're struggling with the same problem back in the Philippines as well. In the Philippines, there's basically no awareness. We're trying to change this by hosting a couple of events and spreading the word. And maybe um, a couple of people will get interested and start training, joining contests online. It's free. So that's our plan. There's a lot of similarities. So, for example, um, I have heard that there's also a lack of motivation, particularly in the college or university level in Turkey. So, it's the same with us. The universities and schools don't know what it is. So, consequently, there's no reward from the university. So, right now, most participants are doing it because it's fun. So, that's one of the similarities. Another is a more minor one. The participants are also quite shy. They, they don't ask a lot of questions. I hope that changes because if you ask more questions, that will be more helpful to you. And I can help you better if you ask more questions. This is a really nice place as well. So Istanbul is really beautiful, but you have a really nice spot in Istanbul. We're beside the sea. And it's a really nice view. And the fact that I know that the, the land I see across the, uh, the sea is Europe and I'm in Asia, that's really, really a nice thing. INSVA is doing great. Your efforts, I think, are paying off. It might not necessarily pay off uh, quickly, but at some point, I'm pretty sure everything that you're doing will pay off and you'll see a, an improvement in the competitive programming community in Turkey and programming in general. I hope the universities will take notice and they give the same recognition as they do in the high school level. Perfect. Thank you. Uh, we would like to see you back in Istanbul again. Yes, I hope to be back. Thank you.